Hi, my name is Andrew, and I just wasted the last 20 hours of my life trying to make a picture clearer. So now I'm going to show you how to do it on your Mac. All right, the short version is you have this hardware that I'm using, this TV, this cable, uh, this adapter, and then you use this software called Switch Res X. And that's the magic. That's my computer. And this is the cable I used. This is the adapter I used. You have to get the A2119, not the old one, because this is the one that supports HDMI 2.0 with 4K at 60 hertz, not the old version. And then I, I was able to successfully get um, the non-chroma subsampling, the 444, with this TV. Um, unfortunately, I tried this TV, but it didn't work. I couldn't get it to display. 444. Uh, you would think that you would need HDMI 2.1 equipment like this and this, but these didn't work either. <laughs> so, yeah, these worked. The A2119, this TV, uh, this MacBook. First thing to do is hook up all that hardware and then button and we want to go into all settings here. Load itself, we go left, uh, we'll click here, use the same. We're gonna go to game now first, because this is the one we're gonna set up for competitive FPS. We're also gonna go back to this main screen here and we're gonna just- And going to the home dashboard. This go up to the top right here where it says settings and hit edit. Click on the icon of the HDMI one, which is what this computer is plugged into and scroll down to PC. We're gonna hit save and that's it. And you might think, you know, it just changed an icon. But when we go back to this, you can see that the lines are much clearer and the text is way more sharp. Download Switch Res X. It's some kind of shareware that makes does magic to the display. So then once you install it, there, there's a dashboard. And I installed the daemon. I don't know what it does, but I installed it anyway. And then I got this in the preference panel. And what I did was I set a custom resolution to these settings, um, in particular the CVT RB V2, and all these are pretty much defaults. Then um, it says the first time you do it, you have to press Command S, and then it'll say need to reboot. So I rebooted already, and now it's active. If you go up to your menu bar, you can see here, you can see that there are uh, a couple six there's three 4k 60 hertz options so now that we have the custom resolution it's actually the second option so if you click the second option ta-da yay look it's all clear now Woo! and all the colors are correct and the reds pop and 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 life is better and more colorful, literally. Now, one thing I also tried is um, I tried clicking this high dynamic range option, but um, it doesn't seem to work. <laughs> yeah, look at that. It's ugly now. Ew. Uh, I tried it with this cable too, and it, I, it doesn't, I don't think it worked. <laughs> But that's okay, 60 hertz at 4K without high dynamic range is good enough. Now if it doesn't work and you don't get a flawless 444 image, uh, in particular these bottom two rows, then um, I would change these. Unfor I tried all four of these and they did not work on my old TV despite it being the same brand and uh, capable of receiving a 4K 60 hertz signal at 24 hertz.